Welcome to Fungi Flamingo TV News. I'm Todd Aikman. The Equality and Human Rights Commission are to investigate whether public services like the police are doing enough to help protect people with disabilities. The decision to investigate comes after her mother, Fiona Pilkington, killed herself and her daughter, Francesca, who has learning disabilities, in a burning car in 2007. This was after not receiving help despite reporting attacks of abuse at least 30 times. Entertainment news now. Ex-serviceman amputee Steve Gill has entered the Big Brother house in its last ever series. Steve lost both his legs and eye in an explosion while on patrol in Belfast and has already become a household favourite with the viewing public. In sports news, Ellie Simmons, the team swimming sensation, has beaten a 200 metre individual medley world record on the last day of the Paralympic World Cup, winning in 3 minutes 11.06 seconds to fresh her old record by almost 8 tenths of a second. The result helped Great Britain to a total of 105 trophy points after Great Britain won the men's basketball early in the week, beating Canada 53 points to 42. However, Great Britain still came third in the trophy table as the rest of the world came top with 120 points for overall a very good performance by Great Britain. Alternative news now. Scientists from Bristol are helping Great Britain's wheelchair races to achieve third times at the 2012 Paralympics by using a wind tunnel. Athletes like Shelley Woods have raced down the tunnel, observed by scientists, then tell the best possible positions for her to use during her races. I've been Todd Aikman, and you're still funky.